think dropping a coin is science, dickhead? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that little chuckle is your humiliation. What were we talking about again? Scientific evidence of gravity. That's the eighth time. <laughs> If there was such a thing as gravity, you wouldn't need containers. What's gravity? Have we got any scientific evidence of it? Or should we move on? Black holes. The thing about black hole, right? The basic black hole color. Your color of a black hole is, is that it's black. And the thing about space, your basic space color, the color of space, is that it's black. How are you supposed to see them? But, but that but that makes sense because you know the pseudo gravity you know makes it so that light can't escape. So of course you know it's black because it's black. Light can't escape. Oh, I see. So if I assume the behavior of light based on the mechanics of pseudo Ramonian four space geometry that none of us exist in, then I can describe that an effect that is observed is actually the effect I detailed in my pseudo geometry. Therefore, a black hole. Wow. Yes. Well, you can see a black hole because it's basically like a ball planet that absorbs all light, even bends it towards it. So you'll see it by the contrast of another light behind it in relation to your observation point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bending that light with the pseudo geometry of pseudo Ramonian four space. And based on those principles, that will give you the effect that you can see if you can observe it from multiple locations and composite the image together to give you a donut. Bro, event horizon, man. Come on. I want to go on a, oh oh sorry I, I how did I become a that's me inviting you in to join the conversation Chris <laughs> oh okay sorry <laughs> please all right hold on you guys are all obviously much smarter than I am well thank you very much so... I don't know why you'd be so self-deprecating <laughs> but there we go oh all right uh wait what are we talking about again we said something about a dome and then no, we're, we're talking, talking about, about time. gravity right now. Scientific oh, evidence gravity. of gravity. What? We're asking for scientific, scientific evidence <laughs> of gravity. And I brought response. I brought up black holes, and then we went into that. Did you All have right. any scientific evidence of who? gravity, Chris? Wait, wait. Who thinks gravity doesn't exist? No, no. We're asking for it to be validated by way of scientific evidence. That's the fourth time we've told you personally, with your name attached at the end, Chris. Chris. We're asking for scientific oh, okay. evidence of gravity. Scientific evidence of gravity. Chris, Chris, do you have any scientific evidence of gravity? Yeah, I want you to take a coin and and let go of it. And if it hits the floor, you got gravity. <laughs> right, do you think that's scientific evidence, Chris? I think that's pretty damning evidence. Do you think it's scientific evidence, given you were asked seven times for scientific evidence? Do you believe that is scientific evidence, given it's your answer to the question you were asked seven times? Yep. Really? You think dropping a coin is science, do you, dipshit? Yeah. Oh, well, then you're thick. a little angry there, sir. Thick. Just dealing with a thicko. Doesn't know what science is. Oh, you think I'm thick? Oh, you think dropping a coin is science? Yes. I'll make a statement of fact. Yeah. The person who stated that dropping a coin is science is demonstrably stupid. That would be you, Chris. You are demonstrably stupid because dropping a coin is absolutely unequivocally <laughs> not science as you interrupt me pointing out your stupidity. Your stupidity for a live mm -hmm. audience. Yes, you are stupid. Is that clear? I've said it twice and then summarized it once. Therefore, three yep. times telling you, you are stupid. Dropping a coin isn't science. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Not really. You've just wasted our time with your dumb idiocy. You're on a live show wasting everybody's time, including the audience, because you think dropping a coin is science and scientific evidence of gravity, making you a moron. Why are you wasting our time? Because <laughs> I think it's funny. You think it's funny to demonstrate your stupidity to a live audience? Wow, we had someone yesterday who did that too. Girl came on and thought it was really funny to demonstrate just how stupid she was to a live audience. And now you feel fit to do the same? Demonstrate just how stupid you are? Wow, very amusing that you should come here and tell us that dropping a coin is science. However, it makes you stupid. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he doesn't give a flip. <laughs>
Well, he he came in already declaring that he that we are more knowledgeable. So I would like to hear though what his thoughts on on your conclusion about what he said, Nathan. Have any thoughts on that? What were we talking about again? Scientific evidence of gravity. That's the eighth time. Oh yeah. Wait, so are you guys flat earthers, or is the other guy a flat earther? Do you need the question for a ninth time? Well, that didn't quite answer my question. What, the question that preceded or followed the question that we asked nine times? My we should, question we should pay attention is, to your do you question. you believe Earth pancake, or do you believe Earth ball? Do you Simple believe question. that a coin being dropped is scientific evidence of gravity? Because it isn't, and yes, we're on that I particular do. question that you're now interrupting because you seem to be a triggered fundy who's been asked for science nine times, hasn't given it, and then has been declared as stupid by a flat earther. But you feel your question should take priority? N no. Yes. Oh, really? Well, you're wrong. Me pointing out how stupid it is to come and declare to 125 live audience members that dropping a coin is science. I'll focus on that. Because the person who declared it is a globe believer. A thicko who thinks he's on a globe and also thinks after being demonstrated stupid by a flat earther that his questions will take priority. Also very stupid. Nice. So what we're waiting for now is you to concede your error so we can move on with our questions, mm. not yours. All right. Take another coin and drop that one. And this is scientific evidence, is it? Yep. Sorry, Pretty what makes something evidence. science exactly? What makes it scientific evidence? Do you understand what science is? Yes. What science? Tell us all about it. Um, <laughs> they got fucking test tubes. Don't swear. And, uh, oh. Hello? Sorry. Just tell us yep. what science is. What are the three constituent parts of a scientific experiment? Um, you want to find out the answer to a thing. So, you test that thing, and you write down what happened. Let me get it straight. <laughs> you look at something, write down what happened. You think that's the three constituent parts of a scientific experiment, do you, you clown? Wrong. Okay. Not okay. You don't know what science is. I asked 10 times okay. for scientific evidence of gravity. You laughed, mm -hmm. thought it was amusing that you were stupid, and are now mm -hmm. clearly demonstrating that you don't know what science is. Why are you using words that you don't know the meaning of? If I'm wasting your time, then why are you continuing to have Not a waste of my time. I've got a live audience to entertain and educate on the nature of reality. Also, the nature of human behavior. You think you mm -hmm. are correct and that we are incorrect. To the point where you will mm -hmm. come and interrupt me whilst I'm pointing that out to the 125 people you've told dropping a coin is science. Yeah? Mm -hmm. that's, that's not yep. a waste of my time. It demonstrates to my audience just how stupid globe believers are. You're one of them. Oh, okay. So you think that observing something and writing down the result is the three constituent parts of a scientific experiment, do you, you complete idiot, globe-believing clown? Uh, maybe. Well, you're wrong. It's not maybe. It's unequivocally incorrect. You are a clown. And you don't know what science is. Okay. Not okay. You're a globe-believing clown who doesn't know what science is, but has come here to tell me, in answer to the question, any scientific evidence of gravity, that dropping a coin is science, and the three constituent parts are, observe it, write it down. You complete idiot. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, no, I don't worry. I heard you the first couple times. Right. So why are you here using the word of science when you don't know what it is? Uh, you know, honestly, I have no idea. Y do you know where you are? Uh, uh, I walked into a Flat Earth Discord server. And then got completely humiliated for a live audience by the host. I hope you feel proud. I wouldn't say humiliated. You think dropping a coin is science, dickhead? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that little chuckle is your humiliation. Yeah? <coughs>
No. Yes, you stumbled into a Flat Earth Discord server and then were humiliated by a Flat Earther for 150 people for your lack of knowledge on what science is. That's what's happened. Then you laughed when I demonstrated to my audience that it's humiliating for you. You laughed about it because it is humiliating. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have humiliated you. You don't have to like it. Do you have anything else to add? Uh, nah, I'm good. Good. Pop yourself back on mute then, you complete dumbass globe-believing retard. Aye. Good boy. Any single viable hypothesis from any of the fields of astronomy, cosmology, or astrophysics? Well, coin. well, they would at least be able to have a null, but the fact that they don't have nulls shows they don't even use an hypothesis in the, in the first instance. Do they have? Do they not have a null because they don't have an independent variable that they can manipulate? Is that why they don't have a null or an alternative? I mean, in so, chocolate's so they question, can't get past looking at it stuff. In, in chocolate's question, he paraphrased three constituent parts of a scientific experiment just for the audience's benefit. So, without having to say, I know the answer. Chocolate managed to paraphrase it into a question and still give the answer. Kudos, chocolate. <laughs>